The press conference for preliminary findings of by-election was jointly organized by the People's Alliance for Credible Elections, PACE, and Pandi and PTE in Yangon Wednesday. Two organizations, PACE and PTE, deployed 12 long-term observers to monitor the campaign environment in the by-election areas. According to the PTE, in the five weeks of campaign period, the observers observed a few cases related to inciting comments against people of other ethnic states during rallies. However, the observer did not find any personal or inciting comments against other candidates when they observed rallies and interviewed candidates. Besides, the staff commission officials reported that they received four official complaints during these five weeks. When candidates conducted their campaign activities, the mostly distributed materials 69%, conducted rallies 60%, and hung posters 46%. We announced the initial findings of research for upcoming violations related with campaign period. We also prepare to monitor with shots and long-term observers for the upcoming by-elections. We will release the final report for the by-election 2018 for all details after the election. This is the initial report, so we plan to monitor the campaign environment until November 2. The director of Pandi Ain also pointed out less participation of women in the coming by-election process. We also find out that women participation at the election is very few percent. I think only 10 percent of women participate at the election. As we interview candidates, 33 said that they've appointed a campaign manager for their campaign activities. Only two of these campaign managers are women. The starting for September 3rd, PACE and PTE deployed 12 long-term observers to observe campaign activities, inquire about officials' complaints and monitor whether candidates follow the code of conduct during the campaign period in 12 vacant constituencies where by-election will be hosted on November 3rd.